y'all welcome back to my channel and welcome to our patio makeover i feel like this has definitely been a long-awaited video in my opinion um i am so excited to share this with you guys and i'm so excited to show you all the new decor this video is definitely got all in one it's got some cleaning in the backyard cleaning of the patio some shopping a haul decorating it's a little bit of an all-in-one style video i will have time stamps but i really hope you guys enjoy i can't wait to show you the new decor i also can't wait to show you our new patio set that was gifted to us by costway i'll talk about that a little bit more later but really quick lewis is just going to get this backyard all cleaned up and nice looking and set up the pool so i hope you guys enjoy and if you're not already subscribed i hope you'll click that subscribe button it's completely free to subscribe to my channel i'm going to be having lots of summer decorating videos and i'm so excited but yeah let's get into this video i hope you guys enjoy see me get emotional and sometimes i pretend i'm just above it all but i want you lying next to me yeah i want your body 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 too yeah body too Listens to anything that you have to say Can we just leave and walk away? Walk away, walk away Maybe you won't see me So what Lewis did, he just took that, um, like, rake thing And he kind of, like, got the rocks up and tried to even it out a little bit Which our yard, I don't know if you can tell, but, like Our yard is at such a slant, like, this way That... There's really not much we can do unless we bring in like a professional <laughs> and we're really not worried about it because like i think i've mentioned this before but we know this is not our forever home like i think we're only going to be here probably less than five years and then maybe we'll build or buy again i don't know um i would love not to be in a subdivision where our neighbors are literally right there um and we have people behind us I would love not to be so close to people, have like a couple acres and privacy. But anyway, so we had a pool like this last year. That's why this circle is here because that was our pool. So we bought one very similar to the one we had. If you don't know and like you're new here, we moved to Orlando. We had a pool in Orlando at our rental down there. So we threw our old pool away because it did have a couple of holes that were patched. Um, we patched the holes, but we were moving and we had a pool down there. So we just threw it away. And so we just bought a new one. We actually just got back from Disney today, so I don't know when this video is going to go live, but um, so I was just doing this little update to let you know that that's what he was doing with the rake. He was just getting the rocks up and trying to even it out best he could, but like I said, our yard is at such a slant that unless we bring it like a professional, it is not going to be level anyways, and we're like excited. We're, like I said, we just got back from Disney and we ordered the pool because we wanted something to look forward to when we got home so that we wouldn't be so sad. So he's about to bring the pool out and get that set up. <laughs> so this is the pool we got this time. Last time we had Intex. Intex and it was 16 foot by 48 inches. I really wanted 52 inches, but I could not find one that I thought would fit in our yard that was 52 inches that wasn't ridiculously expensive. So we went with the 15 foot by 48 inches. This one was from Walmart and I'll have it linked. Um, it was about $500 comes with everything like the filter, the ladder, everything. Um, and it had the best reviews. So I will link this pool. And of course I'll show it when he gets it all set up. See me get emotional. And sometimes I pretend I'm just above it all. But I want you lying next to me. Yeah, I want your body, body, body too. Yeah, body too. Lewis is 
almost done setting up the pool and it really looks exactly the same as our old one i was telling him that i think our old one was 15 feet because like y'all saw where we had like the the indention from our old pool this one was exactly the same and i want to say that our old pool was six it said 16 foot on the box but this looks exactly the same like it's even the same size as the indention thing doesn't it look the same it almost looks bigger <laughs> i don't think it's bigger i think it's the same but i like this is stupid but i counted like these little things and there's 15 of them which is i'm thinking like 15 because there's 15 foot and i looked at a picture of an old one there was also 15 of these so i really think it's exactly the same size so that's cool i think we should get some lights to go around it and maybe some rocks I think that would look really pretty. I'm going to get on Pinterest and look at some ideas for what we should do. But I think we're about to start um, trying to put some water in it. Right? Put water in it. So, yeah. It's getting kind of late. It's getting a little bit dark. We might pick it up tomorrow. But I think we'll at least try to fill it up some tonight. Still waiting for the water to fill up. But the girls are already playing. <laughs> um, it's the next day now. But they're already having lots of fun. It's only like... I don't know, right here of water. Okay, so just quick before shots, before he starts cleaning. He already started with the leaf blower, but I told him to let me do some before shots. It's definitely gotten very dirty back here. We hadn't really done a lot. Um, there's just like chocolate ice cream for my niece and random stuff. And it's just really dirty. So he is going to pressure wash and get it all clean and then we have new rug new patio set and i think hopefully we'll get to it today we're gonna hang the tv there and then one day i'd like to do a shelf i don't know if it'll happen this like today but i want to get a shelf to hang like right there to decorate but we'll see so first he's going to pressure wash out here and it definitely is much needed with all like I know that's chocolate from whenever reese was here we had the mickey bars and there's some chocolate that she dropped but i don't know what all the other spots are from honestly <laughs> but yeah i'm definitely excited for it to be clean out here again <laughs> We actually just took one of the TVs from the girls' rooms because they share a room now, so they don't need two TVs. They did have both TVs in one room, but um, we've been wanting to hang a TV out here since we first moved here, and we saw that they had hookups. So now we'll be able to like play music and watch TV out here, and then lean into football season. Lewis can watch his games while he's grilling. It looks so good out here. I can't wait to get the furniture all set up. I'm so excited. <laughs> You're crazy for saying I should slow down But maybe I'm escaping the love we found There's something about you something So this rug, I will link it. I love this rug. It's an outdoor and indoor rug. I thought it was perfect for out here. It's a little bit wrinkly from being rolled up, but it'll flatten out. I'm totally in love with it. We're going to figure out which way we need to go with it um, whenever we get the furniture set up, but definitely love this rug i want to thank costway for sending us this beautiful patio set to complete our patio makeover i am so excited it is absolutely perfect for this space you guys know i'm always all about high quality on a budget and costway is perfect for that they have tons and tons of products that are high quality 
on a budget and I feel like this patio set is perfect for our space because I wanted something that wasn't too big but also had plenty of seating for us as well as guests whenever we have guests over we can have a conversation piece and I definitely love it I'm so excited obviously <laughs> but I wanted again to thank Cosway and they also provided me a 10% off code for you guys I will put it here on the screen and I will have the links in my description to the website as well as this patio set set in particular and I will include my code again in the description and thank you again Costway for sending us this patio set. Max and I'm on a mission to find a few things um we have the patio set in the rug but I need a few things and I saw these on clearance I'm not sure if these are meant for outside though they're on clearance for I think 32 um marble drink table I don't know I'm nervous like about them getting messed up in the weather well I mean they're gonna be covered but you know like with the metal and also they're all different so it's like hard to pick um i really like this one. Ooh, that's really pretty is this one on clearance too and also yeah this one's 32 they've been marked down twice so i think this is perfect but i love the gold and i want something to go next to also like don't know how tall i don't want it to be too tall for the patio set because i don't know how tall it is yet I think I'm gonna grab this one. I don't really think I need one. I don't need two. I'm gonna look around and then I'll come back to it because I'm gonna see what else they have. Okay, they have these. They're a lot shorter, which I think is perfect. These are plant stands. I guess the other one's like a drink stand. This one's a plant stand. So they have this one. That one's got a little like broken piece on it. So I'm gonna get this one. I think this is perfect for just like a little tiny side table and maybe put like decor on it. Oh, it's $24.99. But I think it's like perfect. I did find a couple of things for the kitchen, but um, I'm trying to choose. I was actually like looking for this white little jug plant for decor because I could use it for the patio makeover, but also my summer decor inside. Um, I don't know if I want this. So this one's $16.99. And I said it here because it's the last one. <laughs> they also have these really big, beautiful black ones, but they're 30. I really like the black ones more. But also, how pretty is this? Like, isn't that cute? But it's 30 bucks. So, I think I'm just going to get the small one, or maybe neither at all. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll, I'm going to go to Target next. So, and maybe Ross. So, I might wait. I almost bought a little jug like this. I should have bought it at the thrift store. It was like glass and it had like this on it. But isn't that cute? Um, but obviously, I'm not going to leave it outside because we have cats who come and like lay on our, not our cats. They come and like lay on our stuff and they'll probably have a field day with that. But just for decor purposes. <laughs> so, I might not get it because I'm trying not to buy things like that that I don't need. Although I do love it. <laughs> I forgot I was supposed to be vlogging. I'm at Target. <laughs> um, I found the doormat that I wanted. Good vibes only. These pillows are on clearance. Um, they're coming off a little boho. I'm not sure I'm going to get them, but they're $14. But I put them in my cart just in case. I found a lavender citronella candle. And it smells really good and it's really big. It actually smells so good for a citronella candle. And then these are definitely a splurge but i've been wanting these don't know for sure if i'm gonna grab them because like the large one is 100 and this one's 80 and like that is definitely a splurge but i've been wanting them i've had my eye on them i think they're picking up like more of a silver on camera but they're actually more of like a brass gold so i'm hoping i can talk myself into getting them but i may put them back <laughs> but i really love them but i'm going to keep looking around see what else i can find Okay, I found some pillows. These are Studio McGee. And I love how they just have the... Because the rug I bought is going to match so good. And they have the pop of black. And then I found this. I think it's... I think this one's Threshold. Yeah, so there's this one. And I like the little tassel things. But I think these are so cute. And I got two of these. 
these are 30 and then this one's 20 but i really think these are gonna match so good i'm still debating on these lanterns y'all i want them so bad but it hurts my soul to spend 180 dollars on lanterns <laughs> but they're so pretty and i've had my own i'm like ever since they put them out like ever since they which was a while ago like i was at target they've been sitting here they did have a smaller one but i guess somebody bought just a small one they also have them in black but i really like these i don't know <laughs> like i guess i can buy them and then if i get them home and i'm just not feeling it then i can return them but they're so gorgeous i found these and i really want these they only have one but i really want these because of the brass color on them and I definitely need like two or three, but they only have one. So I think I'm going to order some. I did put the lanterns back. I just can't bring myself to do it. But I love everything I picked out so far. I'm super happy with. So I think, um, you know, if I couldn't talk myself into it, then it wasn't meant to be. Not at least not this year. Maybe if they go on clearance and they still have them, then I'll get them. But I love these pillows. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, I'm so excited because I have never seen these before, but they're in the threshold. 40 for the large, 30 for the like smaller one. That is definitely more in my budget. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna grab these. Um, I think these are really, now are they, I mean, I'm guessing they're for outdoor use, right? Um, it doesn't say, but I'm guessing outdoor use. Oh, I see there's like a really big one. Oh wait, I think that one's, yeah, that's the magnolia hearth and hand but yeah there's only two of these and i'm very excited now <laughs> i'm gonna put some fake candles in them but i'm so excited because 70 is way better than 180 <laughs> and i actually like this color better honestly i also picked up a wreath um i had picked this one out online and it's from the joanna Gaines section like a eucalyptus wreath to go on the back door this one's 35 i think it goes like all this is going together so well i'm so excited so they don't have the rug like the layering rug that i want but this one's really pretty too and i feel like it fits really well with everything else so i think i'm gonna pick this one up and it's 13 dollars um indoor and outdoor i really like that so i'm gonna do a really quick haul just to let you guys know where i got everything from and kind of show it up close in detail before i start decorating i did find a lot of good stuff hopefully i can put it all to good use but I hope you guys enjoy this video so far and I hope you enjoy this little haul. If you want to skip through the haul and just get to the decorating, I will have some time stamps on the video. So let's get started on this haul. So the first thing I have is this tray. I got this at Ross and it was $12.99. I did buy this a few weeks ago and this is not what I had intended it for, but I think it'll be perfect out here. I love the gold and the hammered look to it and the wood. I feel like this will be the perfect thing to go on the coffee table. So I'm really excited to see what I can put together here. Obviously I have my little citronella, citronella, I think I'm saying that right, candle to go on here. So I'm really excited about this. So I did find this really large Centronella, Centronella candle. It's lavender and it was from Target. I believe it was $15, but it smells so good. And he, I even let Lewis smell it and he said it smelled like it's lavender, but he said it just smelled like summer to him. Um, so you can't really smell the citronella. I feel like most citronella candles that I find, they just smell really bad. So I was really excited when I found this one. They did have another one that was blue. And to me, that one smelled like citra citronella. This one just smells like lavender and I love it so much. I'm so excited to use this. Um, but I love also the, the little candle holder that it's in. It's really pretty and speckled and neutral. And I feel like it goes so well out here. I also found this picture. So this is something that I'm gonna use to decorate out here. And I actually got an idea, I'll show you in just a second, but this was on clearance for $13.99 and it is from Target, the Hearth and Hand um, line. So it was originally $19.99, but it was on clearance. And I really love the lines. I guess that's what I have going out, going on out here, just the lines and stuff, very modern. It's like modern farmhouse out here. That's what I'm feeling. But um, I also kept my husband's style in mind whenever I was picking out items to go out here because he spends a lot of time out here grilling and watching football. So I think that that's what I mainly, he likes black and he really likes the farmhouse style. So I really kept his style in mind whenever I was picking out items. But I also picked out items that I loved, of course, because I do spend some time out here as well. But I think I think this picture is gonna be so cute to decorate out here and then I'm gonna use it on my hutch inside I believe for some decor but I definitely love this and so my little idea for this is that I got some eucalyptus stems 
and I'm going to use those to decorate out here and then I'm also probably going to use them to decorate inside but I'll show you those really quick too. So I picked up four of these eucalyptus stems from the Hearth and Hand line and they were $5.99 each. So my little, I didn't even actually think of this in the store. It was whenever I got home because I wanted, y'all saw the little vase with the eucalyptus. I think that was eucalyptus. It was like faux eucalyptus at um, TJ Maxx that I saw and I wanted, but I ended up putting that back and I was just going to get these and find a vase that I already had. But then whenever I got home, I was like, it might be cute to put them in the picture. And how cute is that? Like, it just looks so cute to me. I think I'm going to put this on the coffee table on the gold tray if it fits, but we'll see. With the candle, I think that's going to be so cute. I just think this is so pretty. So keeping on with the eucalyptus, I did get this large eucalyptus wreath from the Hearth and Hand line at Target as well. It was $34.99. And I want to put this on the door out here. And I'm not sure if I'll be extra enough to change out the wreath for each season, but we'll see. Maybe fall and Christmas, I think that would be fun to change out the wreath. Because even, it, we live in South Georgia and it stays hot pretty much year round. It gets a little chilly in January and February and up through March sometimes it's a little chilly. Some days it'll be like 90 degrees and then the next it usually starts out cold in the morning and then it gets hot. Anyways long story short so we do spend a lot of time out here even in the fall and Christmas months so I may spice it up with some pumpkins and um, maybe change the doormat and change the wreath on the door so we'll see but I think that would be really fun to do some decorating videos out here as well now that we have this beautiful patio set from Costway. Definitely love it. So excited about that. So the next thing I got are these cafe lights and these were the ones with the brass on them. They only had one in stock so I did order some more. So I don't believe I'm going to be hanging these in today's video but I'm definitely going to be hanging them in the future and I'll just have to show it to you guys some someday maybe on a vlog in the future I'll show just an update out here. Um, I originally wanted to just do some lights like on the like the outside like the opening but now I'm thinking it would be so cool to just do all the way around like above the TV and over there as well just so it's like really cozy out here and there's lots of lights whenever we're chilling out here in the evenings and Lewis is grilling it'll just be so cozy out here with these lights I love these I'm so excited about these string lights I've always wanted we've lived here for two years and I've been talking about doing this patio makeover forever we um so when we first moved here we kind of didn't really have the money to do like a patio set and decor and all that we didn't have the funds to do that and then last summer we moved to Orlando so we didn't we weren't living here last summer so we didn't really do any kind of patio makeover since we lived here but we're finally here to stay and we're doing our little patio makeover and I'm so excited and I'm so excited to share it with you guys like as I'm filming this this is like a lot a long time in the works I feel like so I'm, I can't believe it's finally here and it's finally happening I'm so excited Okay, so you already know how excited I was to find these lanterns. I also did get some candles to go in them. I don't know if I showed those, but I got these. They're just um, like the LED. They're not real. They're just flameless and they require batteries, but I think these are perfect. And you saw uh, on my little shopping part of the video that I really wanted those other ones, but these, it was 70 for both of these. Those were 180 for both of those. So this, and I actually really like these better for out here because I feel like, like I said, I'm kind of going with like the clean lines and these are very like modern and they've got the lines. And of course I love brass. So these are perfect. I feel like those other ones were not very brassy even though they said they were brass. They looked very silver to me. Um, you'll have to let me know what you think in the comments about that. But I'm so excited about these. And if I remember to link everything, I'll try to link everything that I use in this video so you guys can buy it for yourself. Um, my Amazon links are like affiliated links, but everything else will be just be linked straight from Target. Like I'm not earning commission on those, but um, but I'll definitely try to link everything for y'all because I'm so excited. I love everything that I found. <laughs> the next thing I have are these pillows. I got this one and the other ones at Target. This one is the Threshold, um, I believe. I want to say this one was 20, maybe 25. Um, I don't remember for sure but I love the lines on it. I feel like it goes so well out here with the style that I'm going for. And I definitely love it. I think I'm gonna put it on the little couch and then I think I'm gonna put the Studio McGee pillows on the little chairs. So we'll see whenever I start decorating what I decide to do. But I'm gonna show you those pillows now. So here are the Studio McGee pillows and I love them. I feel like they are perfect for this space. These were $30 each, which I feel like was a really, really good deal for a good, quality outdoor pillow and again with the lines I guess that's just what I was leaning towards this for this makeover I definitely 
love these I feel like they are perfect for this space and I'm so excited to see what it all looks like put together so I also got this outdoor rug and I believe it's reversible because this side has like the um, gingham pattern and then this side has stripes so I reckon that I could use it either way probably have to cut the tag off of it because it does have a tag but I definitely love that I feel like I'm, I'm hoping it fits over there we'll see but if not I will definitely use this out front so I figured I couldn't go wrong with that and so I'm really excited also about this doormat I saw this online and I thought how cute is that like I know I'm kind of getting away from things with words on it and I feel like doormats there's already ants crawling on it <laughs> there's like a little ant crawling down I hope he doesn't get on me anyways but doormats are an exception because this is so cute and I, I feel like you know how perfect for the back patio like good vibes only like you know just good vibes out here <laughs> I feel like I'm so lame but anyways I love this I think it's so cute and so perfect for out here so the last thing I have is this little plant stand and this is perfect I am so excited I'm glad I didn't get that other one because I definitely think it would have been too tall this one is the perfect size and the reason so I was gonna put the couch under the it's like a little love seat but I was gonna put that under the TV but then I told Lewis I was like no we should put the chairs here because we have an outlet right here so we can put this little table there and we can set stuff on it like our phones or set drinks on it charge our phones out here so I thought that was perfect and I definitely love the marble I just noticed it's broken <laughs> wonder how that happened anyways I also noticed that there's two tags on it one says $19.99 and one says $24.99 they definitely charged me $24.99 for it so I don't know what that's about but anyways um i still really love it i love the color i feel like it's perfect for out here so now that i'm done with the haul i'm going to start decorating i'm so excited for everything to come together really quick before i start filming myself decorating i'm just going to take tags off everything so it's just easy for me to just decorate instead of having to worry about cutting the tags off each time so i'm going to be right back and i'll well it'll be like two seconds for you guys but for me it'll be like all the time to cut the tags off but i hope you guys enjoyed this haul and i hope you enjoy the decorating so I know the door looks really bad where we pressure washed and it um, like took the paint off. That's just been like that pretty much since the first time we pressure washed out here. We didn't realize it would take the paint off. But yeah, that fits perfect. I'm really excited because I was worried that it was going to bump with that rug. So now let's put the good vibes on me. How cute is that? That is so cute. I love that. Doesn't that look so good? So I have my beautiful eucalyptus wreath. I also have like a brass wreath holder, um, which I think is perfect. And I'm gonna stick that on there. How pretty is that? Also ignore, like, this is real life, guys. Like, <laughs> whenever we were pressure washing and the paint was flying off the door, it was flying on the wall. And like, we didn't notice until we'd already put the pressure washer away. So just ignore that. I know you guys like, it. oh, there's a spider up there. <laughs> I know you guys like it when I'm real with you anyway. So um, I'm glad because <laughs> Look at the little spider. There's a little jumping spider. <laughs> okay, see, I've got my little planter table. Planter slash table. I'm going to put it right here in the middle. Perfect height. We can set our phones and charge them with that outlet. And then I've also got, this is something I already had. Um, I got this planter last year, and I've just got a little faux plant in it. And it reminded me of Spaceship Earth at Epcot. So I've had this since last year, and I love it. So I'm just going to stick this little faux plant in here. I'm going to set that right there. How cute is that? That is so cute. I love that it has like the Epcot like Spaceship Earth pattern on it. I think that is so cute. Just a little touch of Disney at home. I also think I want to hang our Flores family sign. Like if you've seen it, it has a Mickey head on it. I think I want to hang that out here somewhere, but that'll be in a future video. Okay, so what are we thinking so far? I am totally obsessed. I think, um, tell me what you guys think. Should I move that and just have the one pillow on it? I feel like people might have, like, it's kind of a shallow seating, but I just love these pillows. I think they're gorgeous. Um, I thought they'd be perfect for out here, but how cute is that? I'm obviously going to have to move the little planter, like, if we need to set drinks or something on it, back and totally just move it. Um, but it's so pretty for now for the decor. I love the pop of green for late spring, early summer, loving the neutral colors out here, obsessed with this rug. Again, I'll have it linked. Um, I'll have everything linked. Love it. I'm so excited. <laughs>
tray together. So we're gonna see. We're gonna see. It might be too big. I think it's, yeah, it's too big. But that's okay. We can just leave it on the table. I honestly probably won't leave this out here because we have kitty cats who like to come, not our cats that like to come and play up here. Um, so probably won't leave this out here. It's just for aesthetic reasons right now for me to enjoy. <laughs> but I'll probably end up just moving this to the tray. So I'm gonna take that off. How beautiful. So here is the finished product. It looks so good. Got a mess going on over there, so just ignore that. Gotta wipe down his grill. Not gonna do that today, <laughs> but let's look at the pretty side. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I love it so, so much. I love the TV up there. Just feels so homey and so cozy. <laughs> I'm so excited, y'all. <laughs> it looks so good out here. I'm so excited. <laughs> There's still, ignore the cooler. <laughs> There's still more I want to do out here. Like, we need to clean up the yard. I want to do the rocks and the lights and hang our cafe lights around. But this is a really good start. I'm so excited. Everything, I'm obsessed with this rug. Love my little good vibes only. Pillows are perfect. Lanterns are perfect. I'm out of breath from doing all this. Everything's so perfect. I'm so excited. You guys have to let me know what you think. I'm so excited. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. I hope it gave you some inspiration or motivation or whatever you're here for. But thanks for clicking on today's video. I hope you'll subscribe. And yeah, just thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.